Fulton County District Attorney Fonnie Willis is speaking publicly for the first time since the judge allowed former President Donald Trump and his allies to appeal his ruling. The ruling that stated Willis can stay on the 2020 election interference case after the withdrawal of special prosecutor Nathan Wade. Atlanta News first reporter Asia Wilson live this morning at the Fulton County Courthouse. Asia cameras caught up with her at a community event yesterday. You're exactly right. And District Attorney Fonnie Willis's words were limited as she didn't really want to talk about the election interference case, adding that yesterday's event was focused on the kids and helping her community. But she did say the work on this case will continue. Now, at the event, Willis didn't really say who she's going to pick to replace special prosecutor Nathan Wade after he resigned a few weeks ago. Now, Wade is also Willis's former romantic partner. Their past relationship has captured the eyes of many, specifically some defense attorneys on this case. It's the reason why some defendants have been trying to get her disqualified from the case. But with everything going on, Willis says she's going to continue to move forward, including on this case, and do it as quickly and as legally as possible. In this case, like in every case, we will handle things in a way that we believe is reasonable, in a way that is lawful. Um, I think what the media should focus on on this case and everything are the charges, the facts, and the law. And leave all the drama behind. Um, I'm 52 years old. It really ain't that interesting if I'm in a relationship or not. It just, it, it just ain't. It, uh, it's not cool to anybody, and it, it ain't that sensational of a story. So let's focus on the case and the law and the facts. Now, following Willis's comments, Steve Sadow, Trump's Georgia attorney, sent out this message on X, and you're looking at it on your screen. It says, apparently, Judge McAfee's warning to Willis in his disqualification order about talking about the case in a public forum is simply being ignored. Does that surprise anyone? Now, with Judge McAfee approving Trump's appeal and now heads to the Court of Appeals, and if the appeal, appeals court overturns that ruling, then Willis would have to step down. We're live this morning in downtown Atlanta. Asia Wilson, Atlanta News First. Yep, this continuing to make national headlines. All right, Asia, thank you.